Hello, and welcome to the Future Proof Podcast. This is our bi-monthly podcast where we chat about stuff we've been working on and anything cool we're planning. I'm Melissa. And I'm Gregory, and we have a bit of a security alert. Oh no, don't frame it that way. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Absolutely. There's been no breach, no leak, no nothing. We did an update to Exploit Zero Day to ensure that our password requirements are being enforced. So passwords need to be a certain length. They need to be, they can't just be all numbers. They can't be a super common password. So we did a push last week, as of when you hear this probably, that uh, just made sure that when people sign up and if they change their passwords, that they have to hit meet those requirements. So not a huge thing, but I think important that we make sure that's correct. Yeah, your account is safe, uh, but if you did sign up with, like, a four-digit password or the password God or something like that, (laughs) go in and change it, and it'll it'll make sure that you can only put in a a good safe password. Yep. Is it God, sex, and money for the hackers? Yeah, I don't remember what it is in hackers. (laughs) Yeah. Probably not accurate. So yes, and um, if you have not played Exploit Zero Day, now is a great time to sign up because now it's more secure. (laughs) (laughs) Exploit Zero Day is our hacktivism game in which you are playing a hacker fighting for truth and justice and uh, against corporate overreach and police brutality and this sort of thing. It's online, it's browser-based, it is uh, free, including a free season of story called Black Echoes, Um, and then we have been working on our first paid season of story in it called Headless Swarm. So, exploitzerody.com. It's a pretty fun game. Yeah. But we do have a non-future-proof project that we have started started is upcoming yeah is yeah we have we have started it uh so so you know it feels a little weird talking about non-future proof things on future proof podcast but uh but this is also about the future and features both of us so uh both of us along with uh, dr lucy arnold have started a podcast called before the future came uh the first episode is going to come out probably around the start of august uh, it is recorded. It is edited. We're in final like review and transcript and stuff, but we're gonna gonna wait to to put it out until around then. And it is about Star Trek. It is about the ideals of Star Trek and what you know Star Trek says is a show and a franchise and so on that says, hey, we're post capitalist. We don't need money anymore. We're you know we don't discriminate against people. We don't believe in conquering planets and (laughs) sometimes it lives up to that and sometimes it doesn't uh so we will be we will be watching star trek out of order we will do we we're going to start with star trek first contact the film and then we'll switch to an episode of the show and we might switch to a completely different series we might do a book uh we're they're all going to be connected thematically. Each one is going to be thematically connected to the next. And we're going to talk about the ideals of it and what we love about the episodes and how we think the episodes could be better. So if you like podcasts and being thoughtful and being caring and also geeking out about a cool <laughs> 50-year-long uh, sci-fi series, uh, check it out. Uh, you can go to beforethefuture.space or... Probably by the time this episode comes out, you'll you can just search "Before the Future Came" on whatever podcast platform you use. Um, and we've got a preview episode up that's just like us saying what the show is in a little more detail, uh, and uh, you'll get a full on something like an hour episode. I'm thinking this one's going to be a little longer based on discussion. Yeah, maybe with, an hour and a half. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's exciting. I am. I have not been on a, you know, sort of non-work related project. I've never. I've not done like a fandom geekery podcast before, so uh, it should yeah. be fun. And if you are impatient waiting for that to come out uh, for the remainder of August, we've got a deal for you. We do. 
The Rosette Diceless books are in the drive through RPG Christmas in July sale. So through the end of the month, the end of July, both Rosette Diceless and the Rosette Diceless Companion are on sale on drive through RPG. And there you can get both print or ebook. Uh, ebook comes as PDF and EPUB. Uh, it looks pretty good on a phone. Nice and searchable and all that. Yeah. Uh, so... Either way, all the ways that you wish to have the Rosette Diceless bundle, you can get it on sale for the rest of the month. Yeah, so check that out. You can find all of our stuff over at futureproofgames.com. We're on co-host as FPG and on YouTube as Futureproof Games. We are technically still on Twitter, but you will see a lot more of our presence and a lot more interesting stuff over on co-host than on Twitter. So we recommend finding us over there. Uh, so you can hit us up with any questions or comments on our blog or social media. And uh, our theme music is Juparo by Broke for Free, which is used with permission. Mm-hmm.